Okay, so now that we got the uh, Sublime and the GraphViz installed and working, so let's look at some things that you can do with this uh, to develop your situated schema and also I'm going to show you a few common errors and how to get out of them. So basically every time you have, like, uh, you put an arrow here uh, and you add another word and I'm just going to use the word word here uh, and then I come back to oops, and then I come back to this thing here it's going to be showing the updated version of the graphic just organize this a little bit okay, cool so usually what I'll do that I'll, uh, you know, I'll keep the graphic on the side and then keep adding things here. Now, this can get more sophisticated. So, for example, if I write Rio here, which is exactly the same word, bear in mind, always with quotes, and then I put an arrow here, and I say uh, whatever here, and I click here, as you can see, from the word Rio, uh, it will... Uh, basically now have two arrows to word and whatever. So basically, you know, and I, I, I can literally do this all day long. Now what you are going to be doing whenever you're doing your um, uh, your situated schemas is just to keep adding connections to what later I'm going to define as uh, concepts and situations. But now let's take a quick look uh, it's some things that can go wrong. Um, let's say, for example, that I do this. I still want to do the wheel thing, uh, but now I want to connect it with the word ball. Okay? And I save, and all of a sudden, you know, something new happens here. What I really wanted was uh, the ball to be connected to wheel. So why did this happen? Well, primarily because you have to spell it always in the exact same way. So if I have wheel here, uh, and I have well here, well, well, it's going to be considered considered a separate word when compared to uh, well. However, if I fix this, if I put an E here, and I save, all of a sudden, you know, I get exactly what I want. By the way, uh, whenever I'm on, I'm on graph this, um, I don't know the command in, in, in a PC with Windows, but on a Mac, I can do command la uh, minus or command plus, and I'll get it like you know, up and down, uh, zoom in and zoom out. Uh, you can check uh, the command, the the, uh, the the appropriate shortcut uh, by coming here. So, for example, with command uh, asterisk, let's see if it works. Yep, it fits uh, to the window, so this is very handy. Okay, going back here and now checking a few other things that can go wrong. Um, the next one that you know will make it go wrong is let's say I want to do now ball and then uh, house. And I click here, I save, and all of a sudden it disappears. Okay, so there's nothing here. Well, what happened? Well, primarily what happened here was that I forgot to add a quote. Uh, so if I add the quote, all of a sudden... Oh, very interesting. So basically what happened here was when I add the quote back, it should go back. However, it, do, it doesn't. This is a bug uh, with GraphViz. So in order to get this back, what I, oftentimes I have to do is I have to close GraphViz. So on a Mac I would do Command Q or you could come here in the quit graph views. Uh, and then I can uh, come back to my map and uh, click on this again. Okay. So when I click it on it again, now here you go. I have ball and I have uh, house. The same thing would happen, for example, if I only had an arrow but without the, the uh, anything. If I try to save now, Again, it's going to disappear. If I then, you know, get my word back there, it comes back. You see, this time the bug didn't show, but uh, bottom line is, if you're looking at your syntax, 
you think it looks okay. You have all the quotes, you have all the, uh, the, the arrows, it should be working fine. One, one thing, uh, uh, you know, you should, if, if, if the syntax is right, uh, and it's still not showing up, just close graph this and then open it again. Another thing that I want to emphasize is that inside a quote, I don't have to have like, you know, just a single word. I can have multiple words. So if I click uh, here now, uh, and then I do the fit thing, you know, here's the word. Now, what if I wanted this to be in two lines? Well, if I want this big word to be in two lines, what I do is I just put a backslash and an end, okay? And I save. As you can see here now, uh, you know, where I put the backslash in the end, uh, it will become a, uh, uh, a new line. So backslash end, the end means new line. Um, other, other, other um, uh, tips. Let's say that you know I did something. I have uh, that made the the, the thing uh, break. Let's say, for example, you know, I forgot to add the, the quote. But then I'm looking at this and I don't know exactly what's going on. I don't know why it broke. Well, you know, the ideal thing to do is to start hitting uh, Control uh, on, the, on a PC, Control Z, on a Mac, Command Z. Because then it starts going back. Uh, so basically it starts undoing the actions. Uh, and so I keep undoing the actions and saving it again. Well, I'm hitting that bug, so I'm going to sh shut it down and then just open it again. So basically, the idea is that you want to keep moving back until you uh, hit a stable version. Um, so the bottom line, the main message here is whenever you, you're making a, an addition, always keep updating the thing. Okay? So for example, I just added this. I add uh, and I save and I look it looks okay if I make a mistake and it doesn't seem like it's recovering just start undoing another way of undoing in sublime is uh, basically here so basically you can just come here edit and then undo and it tells me what I did last um, as you can see it tells you what the the shortcut is in this case uh, command Z. Uh, I think that's it. I think those were all the tips that I had for you. If you hit a problem, and this will likely happen, and you don't know how to fix it, just send me the, uh, the, the file and I'll fix it for you.